Radio frequency identification is one of today's important technology. As a 901 consulting team of Sobeys Grocery Store, we, Amy, Stephanie, Valerie, Julia, and Queenie will do an overview analysis report on the implementation of the RFID in Sobeys as an effective strategy for the grocery company. In the following presentation, we will cover a brief introduction of the RFID technology and how it works, as well as the benefits that Sobeys will reap from implementing RFID tagging. Then, we will analyze the current situation of the company, as well as the financial consequences of using an RFID solution. We will cover an implementation plan, the impact of the technology, and a few brief points on maintenance and control. We hope that this will allow you to make a well-informed decision regarding RFID. RFID is commonly used as a theft deterrent in such products as textbooks or in security access cards for secured buildings. RFIDs are tiny chips with unique identification information that can be read from a distance by a radio frequency scanner when placed on an item. Unlike barcodes, RFIDs allow unique identification of product down to the smallest unit because of its ability to store information. This technology originated in 1969 for World War II German Luftwaffe fighter plane tracking via radar. RFIDs are most commonly used in retail stores such as Best Buy and even UBC Bookstore to deter theft. ESSO and Cineplex Udian offer passive RFID credit card swipe and pay methods. Other uses include passports and employee ID cards. Electronic product codes, or EPCs, are the next generation barcodes which RFID technology supports. Due to the high success of the original universal product code, UPC ad adaptation in grocery stores, IBM, EPC Global, the Canadian Council of Grocery Distributors and Food and Consumer Products of Canada launched a Canadian grocery pilot in May 2007 to promote RFID EPC usage. Therefore, our intention is to implement RFID technology in grocery stores with Sobeys Canada leading the way. The store we choose to implement our equipment in is Sobeys Incorporate. It's the largest retail and grocery distributor in Canada and it owns and franchises over 1,300 stores. We choose Sobeys mainly because they are the manufacturer and the retailer of food. This way the products can't can be tagged before they arrive in the stores and will give the company more control over the operations. When we did our competition analysis, we, re we realized that at this point there's no other grocery stores in Canada that use the RFID technology and therefore there's no direct competition. The main benefits from this technology would be increased supply and chain management. It would improve the asset tracking and it will give us better control of logistics. Um, also, it will increase the convenience for suppliers and consumers. It will give service differentiation by reduced checkout times. Red labor will reduce as well, inventory counts will be made easier, and we will need less cashiers to do the work, as well as it's going to reduce theft. Um, the main risks involved in the implementation of this technology would be the implementation method. We are using the direct cutover method, which is cost effective but very risky in case things will go wrong, we'll have to redo the everything. Also, another risk is the possibility of hackers. Um, hackers can possibly attempt to override the EPC code to another product and affect changes in price. Next, I will talk about the Porter's Five Forces model. When we implement the new technology, the bargaining power of suppliers will go up because this technology is a unique product and no other store in Canada ha has it. Um, the bargaining power of buyers will be greatly reduced because the new technology creates switching costs. The buyers will now want to go to another store and spend more time at the checkouts. Threat of substitutes will go down as well due to switching costs and there's no other source that can fulfill the exact same need in such a fast way. Uh, potential entrance risk will reduce as well due to large capital requirements and hard to find distribution channels. Rivalry will reduce as well as the other factors due to the high degree of the differentiation of our technology. The value, ch the value chain model shows us that um, inbound and outbound logistics as well as operations and customer service will improve. Every time item is sold, a mark is made in the computer and the computer automatically places an order for that product. So at all time, inventory levels can be checked. Uh, customer service will also greatly improve because consumers will be able to always find the product they want. Sobeys will be the first grocery store in Canada to use RFID technology. However, based on successes in other industries, we can infer that Sobeys will also benefit. For example, earlier this year Best Buy decided to use RFID and test it on movies. It experienced an increase in revenue of 18.7% and unit sales increased by 14.1%. A few years ago, Walmart had an RFID pilot and experienced an increase in revenue of 16% 
Based on these early successes, they assumed that gains would grow exponentially. There are many costs attached to the implementation of RFID technology. However, many of these are one-time costs. For example, the scanners and readers required for the tags. However, as seen in the graph below, the benefits of RFID will far outweigh the costs over time. Our main objective of using RFID technology is to change how products are tracked. Our implementation method is to apply this technology in a direct cutover method. Pallet tracking is the current method used to track larger quantities of items. We will be the first movers in applying the RFID to individual items in the grocery industry. We are recommending using either the write once or write many passive tags with a kill feature. Write once or many tags allow for further addition of information. Passive tags will work up to 30 meters and the kill feature allows for deactivation of the label for consumer peace of mind. Labeling perishables and bulk foods is not recommended due to short self life. And our final major obstacle of implementation is to get suppliers such as Coca-Cola to join those such as Procter & Gamble in applying RFID tags to their inventory. The positive impact that the RFID technology will have on grocery industry is supply chain management efficiency, customer service, quality control, and possibly lowering labor costs in the long term. Within supply chain management benefits, Sobis will better their relationship with the existing suppliers such as Procter & Gamble who use RFID labels on their inventory. This improves business-to-business -business communication and trust in that Sobis and PNG can better manage their inventory levels by sharing their RFID information. Scanners on forklifts can better organize pallets of inventory in a storefront's back room. The improved customer service is the immediate benefit behind using RFID technology as the checkout time will be reduced due to labor cost savings over the long run as fewer employees and downtime is required for inventory checks. The savings that Sobis experiences can subsequently be passed down to the consumers. Quality control is another customer benefit. For example, Toyota uses this technology currently to tag all of their vehicle parts. If a series of vehicles suffer from a product defect, Toyota would be able to pinpoint the source of the defect down to the factory and the supplier of the materials. Likewise, Sobis can pinpoint the bad batch of brownies down to the specific source of the ingredients used. One of the impacts on society for RFID technology is the privacy ethics in application. Their concerns would include non-disclosure of RFID tag usage on merchandise, profiling of individuals, and tracking of an individual's movements. Due to privacy ethics, our focus would be on inventory flow and not on consumer behavior. RFID requires little maintenance, but because of the high implementation costs, we have someone in to check the scanning equipment quarterly. Future development of Sobeys and other retail chains will be to go into partnership with existing companies such as MasterCard and American Express to use their passive RFID enhanced credit cards for the customers to enjoy self-checkout similar to the IBM eBusiness commercial. RFID is a revolutionary business technology, which Sobeys should definitely implement to take a competitive advantage and be the new leader of the market. Our consulting team definitely thinks that Sobeys is the ultimate grocery chain who can especially benefit from RFID because it is a manufacturing and retail store. With the implementation of RFID as a business strategy, Sobeys will increase customer convenience by reducing the checkout time, increasing the company's revenue in the long run, and improving retail processes. Its organization will also enjoy the improved inventory quality control and the reduced labor costs. Sobe will also benefit the advantages such as increased supply buying power and the creation of a switching cost by being the first grocery store to implement such technology in the Canadian food industry. With all these benefits, which improves the internal and external environment of the company and the result of our analysis to this report, our consulting team strongly suggests that Sobe should undeniably enjoy the benefits brought by RFID.